Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z Bob Zolke, and I'm here to tell you that opening day Stratomatic was on Friday. The uh, what is it? The 18th, the 7th, the 16th. Friday the 16th was opening day for Stratomatic baseball, and people got their games and people got their cards. And I happen to have gotten a copy of the game. I, well, I got, I got a, somebody sent me the link so that I could download the game um, with my own code. So I do have the game early, even though I did not go to opening day. So uh, we're going to take a look at some of the key players, the, you know, their card images, because I did get the card image with the game. And uh, we'll just go through the teams and we'll go through some key players. And we will take a look at the card. So uh, right now I'm on Arizona. And the first guy I suppose we would look at is Corbin Carroll. So there's Corbin Carroll's card. Looks pretty good. He did have a good season after all. Um, one of their better players, 25 home runs, 76 RBIs. Not going to spend a lot of time on these players because, um, you know, if there's a player you're really interested in, want to see the card, you can stop, uh, you know, you can pause the video. Um, Zach Gallen, this is what Zach Gallen's card looks like. Really, really good card. 17 and 9, 347 earned run average, 210 innings pitched. Um, Merrill Kelly, I think, had a good year. Yeah, he did. 12 and 8, three. 325 earned run average, 178 earned run average, or 178 innings pitch. So there's his uh, there's his card. So we'll move on smartly to Atlanta. Uh, you got Ronald Acuna Jr. of course, who always does really well. He hit 337 in 643 at bats with 41 home runs. Look at that! Wow. Um, Ozzy Albies, he hit 280. Um, and he is a second base three, switch hitting second baseman. Um, let's see who else we've got here. Uh, Max Freed. I got Max Freed in one of my leagues. Now he didn't he didn't pitch a lot of innings. He only pitched seventy eight innings. But there's the card based on seventy eight innings for him. Um, let's see what else we got here. Uh, Nicky Lopez. <laughs> now, Nicky Lopez, obviously, he wasn't that great. But he is a Chicago White Sox now, so I need to get his card up there. We'll take a look at that. Um, he is a free agent in my Elmwood League, so uh, somebody I'll probably have on my draft list. Uh, let's see. Marcelo Zuna. He hit 274 with 40 home runs and 100 RBIs, and that's what his card looks like. For this year so pretty good obviously um, and we're gonna move on we're gonna move on to Baltimore they had some good young players um, let's see Kyle Bradish there's Bradish's card 12 and 7 with a 283 earned run average um, Let's see here. Austin Hayes, 275 batting average, 16 home runs. Um, left field, too, with a negative two arm. Gunnar Henderson. This was, uh, I think this was maybe Gunnar Henderson's first card. Um, no, maybe not. Maybe not. I think he might have had a card last year. So, anyway, there's that's what his card looks like. He hit... Uh, 255 with uh, 28 home runs. Um, Ryan Mount Mountcastle hit 270 with 18 home runs. There's his card. Uh, let's see. All right, we'll move on. We'll move on to Boston. 
please come to Boston. That's what the Boston Red Sox are saying here. Let's look at Rafael Devers. Devers, third base four, E21. I got him in one of my leagues, so he's going to be a clunker over there at third base defensively, but that's what his card looks like. He hit 271 with 33 home runs. Jaron Duran had a nice bounce back season after a bad rookie year or a bad like first real year. Um, and so there's his card. And Adam Duvall had a good season. He hit 21 homers and 320 at bats. Kenley Jensen, let's see what Kenley Jensen did. 363 earned run average, 45 innings pitched. So, yeah, Kenley Jensen is starting to lose it, I think. Um, Trevor Story, um, he didn't play a lot last year, and he had a bad year when he did play. But you got to think he'll be healthy this year and maybe have a nice bounce-back season. Um, so let's see. All right, so we're going to move along from there. Got an itch. Um, Chicago. Chicago didn't have really a lot of good guys. Um, let's go look at Eloy. Eloy with a, a right field five. So you don't want to play him in the outfield for sure. Um, Johan Moncada. 260 batting average, 11 home runs. Pretty pedestrian year for him. Uh... Let's see. All right, that's about it. Well, maybe Andrew Vaughn. Let's take a look at Andrew Vaughn. Hit 258. I mean, he was pretty pedestrian, too. 21 home runs. Would be good normally, except that in 566 at bats, it really isn't. Let's go look at the National League Cubs, the National League Chicago team. And you've got uh, Cody Bellinger, who had another, and again, another bounce back year. It seems like the guy, every other year he's terrible, and every other year he's good. And this was the good year. He hit 307 with uh, 26 home runs. And um, let's see, Ian Happ. Ian Happ hit only 248, but he had 21 home runs. Um, Justin Steele. Justin Steele jumped onto the scene last year with this great card that he had. 306 earned run average, 173 innings pitched, 16 and 5 record. And let's see. Seiya Suzuki. What did he do? He hit 285 with 20 home runs. So there you go. Nice season for Seiya Suzuki. And uh, yeah, we're going to move along. Got to move along smartly here. We're going to the Cincinnati Reds now. Um, Ellie De La Cruz. Did this guy have a good year? No, not really. 13 home runs. And he's unbalanced and bad against lefties. Um, Dave Mazzini. Um, so I got a call coming in, and we will mute that. So let's see what else we've got. Jonathan India. Jonathan India not having a uh, not having a good year last year. Two forty four batting average, seventeen home runs. Um, they had this, they had a young guy that was really good, um, trying to figure out who that was. How about Spencer? Well, Spencer Steer, let's see what he did. 271 batting average, 23 home runs. Um... Let's see. I'm trying to figure out who that guy was. Uh, 
Is it Alexis Diaz? No. Well, I mean, he didn't have a bad year. In fact, look at that card. Over here, it's only against righties. It's only walks, basically. One full hit, and then a single one to four. All right, well, anyway, I don't remember who that guy was that was supposed to be this the big rookie guy that came onto the scene. He had a bad second half anyway, so and maybe his guard wasn't all that great anyway. So on Cleveland, you got Stephen Kwan, uh, a great outfielder again, uh, negative one arm and a left field one, but only hit 268 with five homers. Um Uh, let's see. That's about all we're going to look at there. Um, Colorado, look at Chris Bryant, I guess, one of their big guys, but he only hit 233 with 10 home runs. So, um, and Colorado obviously didn't have a good season. Um, Eliash Diaz, I have Eliash Diaz on my team. Um, so on one of my one of my stratomatic teams, pretty good year from him. But overall, really, Colorado didn't have a good year. Uh, let's take a look here. Spencer Torkelson. He is a first base four E twelve, uh, but he hit thirty one home runs, two thirty three batting average, but thirty one home runs. Um, Spencer Turnbull who had a bad year in 31 innings, so you got to think he's going to bounce back. Um, hmm, let's see. Javier Baez. Javier Baez only hit 222. Wow. So, yeah, Detroit, they got some stuff they got to work on. <laughs> Houston, now you got Altuve. Now, Altuve is going to have a high injury. I have him in one of my leagues. But he has a great card for when, as long as he can stay on the field, he has a great card. But you can see the injury is at 9 here. Um, so that's going to be, that's going to sting a little bit because I'm sure he's going to miss some time. Uh, it helps that he was a second base too as well. Um Yainer Diaz hit 282 with 23 home runs. So there's his card. Um, let's see. Jeremy Pena. He's a good defensive shortstop. Shortstop one, just like he was his rookie year, but again. Not the greatest of uh, hitting cards. 263 with 10 homers. Uh, Ryan Presley. Ryan Presley, uh, 358 earned run average in 65 innings. And uh, Verlander. My man Verlander. I've got him in a league too. 322 earned run average, 162 innings pitched. So that's what his card will look like. Kansas City, um, let's see, what do we got on Kansas City? I don't know that we have too much. Bobby Witt Jr., let's take a look at Bobby Witt Jr. Hit 276 with 30 home runs and 11 triples. 11 triples, you just don't see that today in today's uh, baseball game, Major League Baseball. So, uh, yeah, nice card. Shortstop, two. Go to the AL. We're going to look at Trout. Mike Trout. And we will look at Shohei Otani, of course. But uh, Mike Trout, nice, uh, nice batting card for a 263 batting average. Uh, although he did have a 367 on base percentage. 18 home runs and 308 at bats. Uh, let's look at the Otani master. This is his hitting card, 304 batting average, 44 home runs. So that's what you're going to get from him, which is good. And then uh, his pitching card, 
314 earned run average and 132 innings pitched. Um, and we will move along again smartly here um, to L.A. and let's go to Betts. Mookie Betts, 307 batting average, 39 home runs, 107 RBIs, and a 408 on base percentage with a 579 slugging. Um, let's see. Clayton Kershaw, for as many innings as he pitched, which was 132, he has a 246 earned run average. So there's his card. Uh, Lance Lynn had a bad year. This was between Chicago and L.A., and he had a 573 earned run average between the two. Uh, he's good for eating innings, but not for, uh, you don't want him eating those innings. So, Max Muncy, let's see what Muncy did. Muncy had 36 home runs, but only a 212 batting average. And, uh,. All right, so we'll we'll move on again. Miami, you got Miami and um, El Alcantara, Sandy Alcantara, four fourteen earned run average. Not a really great year for him, like it was last year. Um, Chisholm hit two fifty with nineteen home runs. Um, let's see, Joey, Joey Wendell, we're going to look at Joey Wendell just because, uh, my brother is the sports information director at Westchester University, which is where Joey Wendell went to college. So that's his card, only 297 at bats though. Move on to Milwaukee. Um... Got Willie Adamas, who's always good. Shortstop won E16, and he hit, but he only hit 217. Had 24 home runs, but he only hit 217. Um, Corbin Burns, who is now on the Orioles this coming season, coming up. Uh, but not a bad, not a bad year. 10 and 8 with a 339 earned run average in almost 200 innings. Um, And then Christian Yelich. We'll look at Christian Yelich. Hit 278, 19 home runs, and there's his card. Like I said, if you want to look at a guy, I'm not. Even, I'm going to do this really quickly. So if you want to look at somebody, just pause the video. Uh, Joe Ryan from Minnesota. He had a 451 earned run. I thought he did better than that, but uh, anyway, yeah. Still not a bad card for a 451 earned run average. Um, Joey Gallo. Joey Gallo, first base two, left field two, right field two, center field three, and uh, only a 177 batting average, although that is Joey Gallo. Uh, we'll go look at the Yankees, and you've got... Um, Volpe, Anthony Volpe, I think this was his first uh, season. 209 batting average, though, with 21 homers. Then you've got, uh, let's see, where is he? Where's the judge? There he is. The judge. 613 slugging percentage, 406 on base percentage, 37 home runs, and 16 doubles. A lot of walks. He's got walks all over that, that card. And he also didn't miss time. He was injured. Um, and then um, Anthony Rizzo. Rizzo hit 244 with 12 home runs. Kind of a down year for Rizzo. Um, and then Garrett Cole we will look at before we move on from the Yankees. 263 earned run average and a 15-4 and four record. I mean, for whatever the Yankees did, Garrett Cole's the guy that carries them. Go to the Mets now. Uh, let's let's take a look at Vogelbach. 233, 13 home runs, and 275 at-bats. 
Um, and then Pete Alonzo, you've got him. 46 home runs, 21 doubles, 217 batting average, though. So he's not going to get a lot of hits for you. And only a 318 on base percentage. So he's basically just going to hit a home run or get out. Um, Francisco Lindor. So you got Lindor's card. He's hitting 254 with 31 home runs. Nice for a shortstop. If you can get it, that's good. So we're going on to, no, we are not going on to Oakland. There's no. <laughs> There's nobody on Oakland. Nobody wants to see anyone on Oakland. Um, we are going to look here, though, at my main man, Bryce Harper. First base 3E5. This is the first year he played first base, and uh, he did it quite well, actually. Uh, nice on base, 401 on base percentage, 499 slugging, a 293 batting average. Uh, we'll look at Real Muto. Where is Real Muto? There he is. Uh, 252 batting average and 20 home runs. So for a catcher, that's great. I mean, he's one of the better hitting catchers in baseball. Um, Trey, or, well, there's Ranger Suarez. We'll just take a quick look. In case you wanted to see Ranger Suarez, there he is. But we're going to look at Trey Turner. Take a look at him. He hit 266 with 26 home runs. Uh, you will remember he went through a slump, and they made a big deal about it, and how he had the support of all the players on his team um, because he was going through a pretty bad slump. But he ended up with 35 doubles and 26 homers. So, you know. Uh, Pittsburgh, I don't know if we got anybody. Let's see. Connor Joe. I have Connor Joe on one of my teams. Um, 339 on base percentage, 421 slugging, 11 home runs and 413 at bats. Um, and um, Cabrian Hayes, where is he? He is a third base one, E8. Um, but I think he got, I, I don't know, somebody got injured. Maybe it was him that got injured and missed some time. Go to San Diego, and of course you're going to look at Soto. Juan Soto, one of the better cards in the set. 410 on base percentage, 519 slugging, 35 home runs, 32 doubles, and a 275 batting average. Um, let's look at Manny Machado. Manny Machado, a third base, 1E11. Good defensive third baseman, always has been. So that's what his card looks like. Um... And then uh, Blake Snell. We'll take a look at Blake Snell's card. 225 earned run average, 14 and 9 record. So not too bad. And Michael Waka. He had a pretty good year for as much as he pitched, but that was only 134 innings with a 322 earned run average. So there's Waka's card. Um, let's see some of these other guys. Cronenworth is a big San Diego guy, uh, 458 at bats, only a 229 batting average, and only a 312 on base. I mean, hitting wise, the guy is not really a great offensive player. San Francisco, uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, Ross Stripling, how did he do? 536 earned run average. He did not do well, so. Not good there. I think he's on Toronto now. I think maybe he signed a contract with uh, Toronto. Uh, Michael Conforto only hit 239 with 15 home runs, so no doubt here uh, why um, San Francisco had a bad year. Crawford, another bad year, 194 batting average. So was anybody good on this team? I mean, Seattle. We're going to Seattle now. Um, you got J.P. Crawford. He uh, had a 266 batting average, 19 home runs, 380 on base percentage. I would not have guessed that. Of course, I'm not a Seattle fan, so I don't follow Seattle very closely. Eugenio Suarez hit 232, but with 22 home runs. And. Um, Let's see here. Who else? George Kirby is one of their better pitchers. 335 earned run average, a 13 and 10 record in 191 innings pitched. 
and um, Logan Gilbert, another one of their good pitchers, 13 and 7, 373 earned run average. And I think we will move on. St. Louis. Uh, not a lot of great guys on St. Louis. Uh, they had a bad year. Adam Wainwright in his last year, terrible card. 740 earned run average, 5 and 11 in 101 innings pitched. Um, Newt Bar, what did Newt Bar do? 261 batting average with 14 home runs. Um, Tommy Edmond. Tommy Edmond, 479, uh, 479 at bats with a 248 batting average and a 307 on base percentage. A lot of these guys had drop offs. A lot of their young guys had drop offs from their first year, and that was a big problem for St. Louis, uh, from what I can tell. Tampa Bay, all right, so I don't know, we don't want to do that. But anyway, Tampa Bay, um, you've got, of course, uh, the embattled Wander Franco, who is in legal trouble in his home country, may never play baseball again, probably isn't going to play at least this year coming up, but uh, if you have him in a league, you have to decide, are you going to trade him or are you going to keep him? 281 batting average, 17 home runs, and a shortstop one. So, you know, if you're going to be a contender, maybe you keep him. If you're not, maybe you get rid of him. Um... So let's see. Um, oh, by the way, Seattle, let's go look at Castillo. I just happened to remember. So there you go. There's Castillo. He, of course, had a good card. He is a good starting pitcher. Uh, 334 earned run average. So back to Tampa Bay. Let's see if we can find anybody else um, that I can recall. Had a good year. What about Robert Stevenson? Yeah, Robert Stevenson had a pretty good year. 310 earned run average, but only 52 innings pitched. Um, Tyler Glasnow, 10 and 7 with a 353 earned run average, but again, only 120 innings pitched. So some of these guys would not get you through a season, uh, depending on what the league rules are and the leagues that you play in. Texas, and again, I don't really need to see the Texas Stadium. Um, I did, by the way, light off a game, and it looks the same, pretty much has the same feel as the games of the past. Um, John Gray had a 412 earned run average and 157 innings pitched. Um, let's see here. Nathan Evaldi struck out 132 guys in 144 innings with a 363 earned run average. Um, hmm, let's see. Mitch Garver. Mitch Garver, 270 batting average, 19 home runs, a 370 on base percentage, and apparently a bulk of that came against lefties. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, hmm, let's see. I know there's some other guys. We, all right, Jordan Montgomery, obviously one of the one of their postseason heroes. 320 earn run average, 189 innings pitched. Uh, Josh Young, young uh, 23 home runs, 25 doubles, 266 batting average. Um, uh, Adolis Garcia, this will be the last guy we'll look at, but he had 39 home runs. He was in the All-Star game. 39 homers, 107 RBIs. And then we'll go on to Toronto. And um, got to look at the uh, the big guys. Vlad Guerrero is one of them. 602 at bats, 264 batting average, 26 home runs. Um... Alejandro Kirk hit 250 with eight home runs at catcher, 372 at bats. Uh, Danny Jensen also had a pretty good uh, uh, power year, 17 home runs in 268 at bats. Um, let's see what else we got. We got Caven Biggio, 
and he hit 235 with nine homers and 40 at bats. And let's see, George Springer. Let's take a look at the Springer man. 613 at bats, 200, 258 batting average, 21 home runs, a 327 on base percentage, and a right field three with a negative one arm. Dalton Varsho hit 220, just 220, but he had 20 home runs in 527 at bats. And finally, Washington we will look at. And again, I don't need to see Washington's Park. I see it a lot because I live in the Washington area. <laughs> Um, but uh, let's see, Lane Thomas. Lane Thomas hit 268 with 28 home runs. And we'll look at a guy that I cut. I was big on last year, Manessis. Joey Manessis hit 275 with 13 home runs and a 321 on base percentage. But those are pretty vanilla stats. And considering that I had a pretty good offensive team otherwise, he just didn't make the cut. Um, so let's see if we've got anybody else. Pat, Patrick Corbin had a 520 earned run average, which is probably one of the better years he's had in the last few. 10 and 15 record, 180 innings pitched. He's their workhorse right now. Um, I've got uh, Stone Garrett in a league. 269 batting average, 9 home runs and 234 at bats, but he got injured, suffered a big injury early in the year, relatively early in the year, and uh, and that was that. So uh, there it is. There's the uh, league for you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this look at uh, some of the players. I hope I hit on some of the main, a lot of the main ones that you would be interested in. But uh, let me know what you guys are doing. Um, if there was uh, any players I might have missed, I'm sorry about that. But, you know, I only have limited amount of time, and i got to get ready for my own leagues. So um, I just want to remind you, everybody, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. That really helps. Send the uh, video to people you know that might be interested in watching the video and seeing some of these cards. But that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.